We are five minutes away from SA Live. Let's take a look at what they're doing downtown. Oh, look at this right here. I've got a baby coat of Monday and Anita Lenahan from Happy Tales is the one wrangling him right now. That is Jasper, right? Yes. Okay, and that's just <laughs> one of the cute critters that this mobile zoo can bring to you, but you're also going to be talking about some new and exciting programs you've got going on, right? That's right. All right. Jasper is fully charged, 100% ready to go, so you, we don't know what's going to happen uh, when SA Live continues, so be sure to stick around for that. And Jen is going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, right? That's right, Jabs Boxing. It's the only location here in Texas. It's only been open about a week. Amanda, what makes this place different? Super excited about this. It's actually the very first boxing-inspired circuit workout that tracks your progress. If you want to go ahead and throw a couple punches for me, you can actually see on our TV screen the average punches, the speed, and force of your workout. And you'll get that email to you every single workout. All right, and they have a deal for viewers. If you want to try some free classes, we'll tell you all about it. And one local restaurant has some tasty ways to give back for a good cause. John Berg with Doghouse, tell us how. So this, uh, the month of September, we are doing a Maui Strong fundraising, and we got three items to a uh, dollar for each item goes back to the fund to help out Maui. All right, all that and more when SA Live continues in just a few minutes. Right now on KSET.com, 11 of San Antonio's eateries are now listed among Yelp's top 100 places to eat in Texas. One of those places, Curry Boys Barbecue on the North St. Mary Strip. It landed at number four on the list. Ooh. Several other San Antonio hotspots made the list as well. You can take a look in the things to do section of KSET.com. Have to try that. All right, we do have some rain on the radar, not around San Antonio, but up closer to Rock Springs, down toward uh, Kenny County. This will be moving into the Brackettville area very shortly. But again, there is a 20% chance this afternoon for an isolated thunder shower around San Antonio. We'll keep you posted. It's still going to be hot this Wednesday afternoon, though, near 100. 102 tomorrow, 101 Friday. Rain chances are done after today for the next seven days. We're going to be up to 100 degrees all throughout out Labor Day weekend, David and Ursula. Well, at least it's not 105. That is true. <laughs> this is, is an improvement, y'all. No. Silver lining. It's like Wild Kingdom down there at SA Live. What was that critter? I don't know, but I want to watch them wrangle all them things. SA Live <laughs> works, right? Now. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. We are the International School of San Antonio, and you are watching SA Live. <laughs> yes, well, Niho Ma and happy Wednesday. Those are some impressive youngsters from the International School of San Antonio. Good afternoon, I'm Fiona Gorstiza. Now, those kids aren't even in middle school, and they're already speaking in foreign languages, and that got us thinking for our question of the day is what language would you want to learn? So I'm bringing in Jen Tobias Strusky. Jen, what language would you want to learn? Oh, you know, I think French would be awesome. I think it's just a it's like, so romantic, fancy, right? It sounds so cool. A language, right? Fancy. That's a good word, too. What about you, Fiona? Um, I would want to learn Mandarin Chinese. Um, my daughter Sloan actually attends the International School of San Antonio, so I would like to be able to converse more with her. So as she learns, I'm learning. And I do like the fun songs. That, that helps me. <laughs> Wow, she can teach you. That's impressive, by the way. Yes, we want to know our viewers, please chime in, weigh in. There's a QR code that you can scan to give your answer. What language would you like to learn? That's really impressive, Fiona. That's awesome. Yes, thank you. All right, so we're going to check back with you in a few minutes, Jen. But right now, we have some furry little foreign exchange students, if you will, to meet. And because it's our Wild Wednesday, from the jungles to the Alamo City, a local mobile zoo has some adorable new additions who can come to your next party or event. And Anita Lenihan, co-owner and animal trainer with Happy Tales Entertainment, joins us to introduce. Okay, who have we got right here? Well, this is Chia, and she is an eight-month-old baby capybara. So she's a baby. How big will she get? When she's full-grown, she'll stand about, oh, say that tall. 
-hmm. And she'll be at about as long as the mat there that she's standing on right now. And what are they related to? This is the world's largest rodent. Rodent. The rodent okay. family is huge. It includes rats, mice, hamsters, guinea pigs, squirrels, uh, gerbils, you name it. They're in there. Beavers, porcupines, nutria. Um, so the capybara is the largest. And so a lot of rodents, their teeth kind of keep growing, right? Yes. All rodents have one characteristic that they all have is, is the beaver-like beaver -like teeth and that constantly grow. So they have to chew in order to file those teeth down because their teeth can grow into their lower jaw. Ooh, okay. Yeah. And they do like water? They love they water. These, water? Guys, these guys live in the swamps and rivers of South America. So they do have the webbed feet that help them to swim. Oh, okay, and to, so they like to the water so much they can take naps or sleep sure. in the water? Yeah, they can sleep in the water. They just put their little nose above the surface oh. and just kind of shut their brain down for a little while. And they're still pretty mobile on land. How fast, uh, you know, what's this thing at top speed? She can go as <laughs> fast as a domesticated dog. Really? Oh my goodness, okay. And in nature, some animals, well, they're they're very social with other animals, right? Yeah, these are like the best friend to everybody. Aww. There's a picture on um, Facebook or one of those where she's laying, uh, not her, <laughs> but they're laying right next to a caiman, which is one of their main predators. All right, okay, and coming in, moving at a pretty good clip, at least for him, is? <laughs> this is Leo, and Leo is a leopard tortoise. This is the fourth largest tortoise species in the world. Now he is a tortoise, not a turtle. Okay, and what does that mean? The, okay, these guys live on the land mm -hmm. and turtles live in the water. And then there's the terrapin that does both. Okay. This is the only tortoise species that can swim. And why is that? Okay, so this part of their shell right mm -hmm. here on the leopard tortoise is back further on their neck. So they have the ability to lift their neck up so when they're swimming in the water they can breathe because they have to breathe air. They're not, right. turtles have to breathe air too. They don't, they don't have gills or anything like that. Right, and of course the leopard name because of the pattern that you're seeing. Yes. And that shell protects against predators, right? Yes, it's really thick keratin. They do have nerve endings though that, that they can feel when you pet them. Okay, and he does have ears. He does have ears. They're little tiny, it's covered with skin. Uh -huh. So it's right here on their side. So they can hear their name, they can learn their name. They're actually pretty, pretty smart animals for a reptile, um, okay. you, but you don't want to teach him to roll over. And he has, you have to teach him to roll over. <laughs> Might be hard getting back over, yeah, right? get it right. all the way around. And he's got like a little beak, right? So no yes. teeth, but good chewers. Yes. Uh, turtles are omnivores, mm -hmm. tortoises are herbivores. The way you can tell the difference between a turtle and a tortoise, tortoises or turtles have flippers, tortoises have these big thick claws, long claws, and they have elephant-like feet. Oh, the elephant like feet. Yes. yes. It's like that lotion commercial, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. And of course, we talked about where they live. Uh, these guys are in the deserts of Africa. Deserts of Africa. Okay. And now, from the deserts of Africa, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're standing by to welcome Jasper the Baby Cotamundi, who had all his naps today and is ready to go. Yes, he's ready to go. This is a four month old baby Cotamundi. And there's his bottle. Uh huh. He is still on the bottle. Okay. So what I'm gonna do? Do we, do we need? Do we want the table? Uh, yeah, we can do it we on the table. We want the table. table. Okay. okay. All right. So just there you go. And he's just gonna drink it down. Now look, he see how he drinks it from the side? Yeah. Because his nose side. gets in the way. Gotcha. Look at you. Okay. So tell us all about him. He is a member of the raccoon family, found uh -huh. in Central and South America. Um, unlike a raccoon, they're awake during the day rather than at night. They have that long nose that they can move 60 degrees in any direction and they can smell about three inches down into the ground to find bugs or lizard eggs or snakes that are burrowed under the ground. These guys nest up in the trees during the night and come down on the ground during the day to find their food. They use their tail for balance as they're moving through the trees, but they can also use it as a flag. So say the moms and the babies are going through the tall grass, they'll stick that tail straight up like a tour guide flag. Like a tour group leader. I yes. love that. Okay. And how and they so they jump pretty well. Oh yeah. Because they go treetop to treetop? Yes, they can jump. Um, he's actually really calm right now because you're giving him the bottle. Okay. 
<laughs> but now we get uh -huh. to see the craziness that is a coda monkey. Yes, hello. <laughs> now you have a new program that you're looking for guinea pigs, right? What does that mean? Yes, we are opening up a private interaction program. That means we invite you to our facility. So we have to meet you first. Mm -hmm. um, but we want to open it up to like team building for businesses, employee appreciation for businesses, Mom's Day Out, it would be a program for the moms. Um, and we are looking for guinea pigs at this time. Uh, it is at a discounted rate. Mm -hmm. And if you go to our Facebook page, there is an ad there that you can um, get them <laughs> all squared away. Are you gonna climb? <laughs> oh, Show he's going, he's going for climb. it. He's going for it, he's going for the rafters. Okay. And and. And how can folks book you for an event? Or, um, of they can go to our website and go to our contact us page and or call. And we can do birthday parties. We do uh, church events, especially around Easter. It's like Cirque du um, Soleil. Okay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you do everything, including wrangle Jasper. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> for more information on Happy Tales Entertainment, just snap that QR code on your screen or go to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Hmm. I have Coda Mundy, like little, little milk on my script here. Okay, their motto is come as you are, leave stronger. Jabs Boxing is one of the newest gyms that's incorporating boxing inspired workouts at all fitness levels. And their, no lo their new location just opened near De Zavala and I-10 and that's where our Jen Tobias Trusky is. Hey there, Jen. That's right, I'm excited to learn more and try this out. We're here at Jabs Boxing. As you mentioned, I-10 in De Zavala area. And now I'm here with Casey. Casey's gonna put me through kind of a mini class, yeah. right? What yeah. is it all about? Stacy's joining us. So too. we're gonna incorporate all three phases of our workout into this little little segment here. We're gonna punch, we're gonna lift weights, and we're gonna row. Okay. We'll do all that. Those are kind of our elements of our class. All right, let's get to let's it. Let's get going. Okay. So step one for mm -hmm. her is where she's standing on the bag, right? Mm -hmm. If I'm standing right in the middle of the bag, I'm not hitting it directly, I'm off to the side. So a great way, if you have a bag at home, get that right shoulder lined up right there in the middle. I'm directly across it. Now I'm gonna have a, a, a lot of leverage on these punches. She's gonna get in her stance. Okay. I'm gonna set that clock. Okay. Once we hear that bell, three, two, one. We're going live one after the other, one after the other. Ah! It's 55 seconds of nonstop work. She's punching, her guard is up. Keep that guard up, turn those hips, squash that bug. Five, four, three, two, one. All the Woo! way through that bell. All, all right. right, we all have right. worked out hard. Okay. Now let's incorporate our strength training. Grab those weights. The squat press okay. is a very good total body exercise. Weights are up at our shoulders, elbows high. Their feet are gonna just slightly be bent out a little. That way when they squat down, their knees go out, right? We're driving off our heels on our way up. Three, two, one, squat. I heard that bell over your oh, head. Yes, the squat bell. <laughs> over your head. We've gotta be conscious here that we're doing this exercise for not only time, but 55 seconds of work, okay? It's a very, very good exercise. Total body covers everything. Weights are down, I heard that oh, bell. Let's oh. hop on that rower. Okay. Let's hop on okay. that rower, okay? Big round coming up. We're gonna sprint on the rower for 100 meters as, as fast as we can possibly go. Where you're gripping that handle means everything. She's okay. got her hands off to the side. Her back is engaged, which means she has very, very powerful rows. There we go. Slide that out. We wanna work those bigger muscles. Push back. Once we hit 100, once we hit 100, <laughs> we are there. World record time off that okay, thing, well, off that well. rower. Slide up the rest of that 55 seconds. We are squat oh, press. Oh, we're not done, squat, yes. Jump. Remember, okay. squat and pray. Here's how you squat jump. Squat and pray, jump out of it. So the rest of this round, she is squat jumping. Okay. Burn those legs out. I have Total heard the bell body. Yet. The bell Leading coming. into that 25 second break. Keep going, keep going. I hear the bell in five, four, Three, two, ding, 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 ding. Oh, good okay, set. Way to problems. go. We're burning those legs. Okay, good job. Yes, good job. Okay, so we have the concept down. Yep. But a full class is an hour. Tell me more. So we'll we'll do a really really good warm up in class. Um, we'll incorporate all six stations, 24 total rounds. And then the finisher, it's a blank canvas. You never know what you're gonna get. It could be easy, it could be brutal, but that's exactly where we finish that workout strong. And then we bring you over here and look at your punch technology. Yes. Um, again, we're keeping stats in those gloves. Every single thing that you're doing that entire hour goes into this and that KO number off there to the left, you see a 30 and a 156. 
we've combined your punches, your power, your speed, your heart rate, all into that strain number, and that is your goal, a higher KO number. That's amazing, and you mentioned KO, so some days it's more about strength, other days it's right. more about speed, So right? if you're in here in a class and you see, you see uh, KO, you know that's more, a lot of lower weight, higher repetition. We're really, really bringing the speed on the punches that day. If you see power, right, we're lower body, we're upper body, we're higher weight, lower reps. So we're gonna build muscle on those days. All right, okay, I'm telling you, I'm already feeling this. Yeah. <laughs> and that was nothing, right, compared to the class. So later in the show, we're gonna do some core with Stacy here. All right, she's cute, but I heard she'll be tough <laughs> Let's on get us. To it. Okay, so that's coming up later in the show. We'll tell you more about the deal they have as well. Thank you, Absolutely. Casey. Thank you, Stacy. Way to work, way to work. Through that bell. <laughs> yes, Through that bell. Boom. All right, Fiona, back to you. Oh, thank you, Jen. We're going to check back with her in just a few minutes. What a workout. Okay, still ahead on SA Live. You might not believe it, but your little ones could be speaking French, Spanish, or Chinese before they're 10 years old. How you can get your child in this incredible local language program. Plus, it's a great deal for Labor Day how one restaurant is saying thank you this holiday weekend with an awesome deal for some lucky people. It's coming up in our next half hour. But first, Maui Strong, how you can help after the devastating fires in Hawaii while enjoying some delicious food. It's next on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, doing some good has never been so delicious, and one restaurant has some tasty ways for you to give back to a great cause. John Bird, Director of Operations from Dog House, is here to tell us about the Maui Strong menu items. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Now, these aren't even on the menu yet. When will they be on the menu? So they'll become available September 1st and through the whole month of September. Okay, so this Friday, right? Yes. Okay, yep. and there are three? There are three items. So. First, we have our uh, Ohana Chicken Sando, which mm -hmm. we're gonna be building right now. Okay. Uh, we have our Mighty Moa Wings, and then we also have our Aloha Spirit Cocktail, which we're gonna make. Okay, all right, so how do we get started here? So we're gonna put this chicken tender on top of the bun there. The entire thing. That's yeah, a okay. monster right there. <laughs> it's a so. monster, okay. All right, so now we have our chili spicy crisp right there, and just kind of coat the entire tender there, a couple scoopfuls of that. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, spicy. Oh, yeah, okay. that's good. Crunchy. All right, there All we right. go. So now we're going to put our spicy mayo, just kind of drills it along the whole tender there. Yeah, okay. oh yeah. Have our teriyaki aioli. All the aioli. All these are made in-house. Okay. Our uh, house slaw. Just kind of spread that along the whole thing. Okay. All right, and then a little black pepper sprinkle over the top. And throw that bun on and enjoy. And that is good to go. Oh yes. my goodness. All right. So these are part of your Maui Strong offer. Let's talk about how they give back. Okay, so every time you order one of these menu items, one dollar for the purchase goes to the Maui Strong Fund. So, you know, you're getting your stomach full and you're helping out a great cause too, so. And tell them, again, tell us about the connection to Hawaii. So you. if you haven't noticed, all of our stuff is made with King's Hawaiian Rolls. So we do have a very strong connection at Doghouse with, with the islands out there, so. Anything we can do to help, you know, we use our business as a vehicle and uh, for the greater cause. So. And let's talk about what else is offered at Dog House. So we have hot dogs, chicken sandwiches, we have delicious burgers, we have wings, we have badass breakfast burritos. <laughs> uh, one of our online brands, but we do that throughout the day too, the breakfast menu. Um, and then we have a full plant-based menu as well. So all these items that you see here, you can get as a plant-based option as well. And now you mentioned the breakfast. A lot of people just may not know that, right? Yeah. That you offer breakfast too. And our burritos are, they're, they're pretty large. So <laughs> uh, I usually cut it in half and split it, so. And there are some drinks? Yes, so we have full cocktail you know, bar and, and 26 taps at our locations. Uh, we'll make the Aloha Spirit cocktail real quick. So we got our simple syrup, a little bit of lime juice. We got some orange carousel, some Aperol. And this is our Don Q rum, and some pineapple. And then shake that up. We're gonna shake that guy. Try not to mix While you're doing that, tell folks where you're located. So we have three locations uh, in the San Antonio area. We have uh, one at Bandera Oaks, Stone Oak. Mm -hmm. It's like my first time doing this. <laughs> That's what usually what happens when I try to do this. <laughs> I've got some bad suction going on to here. Open. 
All right, and That's... there we have it. <laughs> hey, it's, look at that. It's like, you know, it's like when they're cooking on TV. Yeah, and out of the oven. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> it's, beautiful. it's beautiful. So it is a tropical drink. It's delicious. It's refreshing. And for every one sold, a dollar goes to the Maui Strong Fund. So drink with a cause. Eat with a cause. It's just good for everybody. Oh, perfect. Well, thank you so much. For more information on Doghouse, just snap that QR code on your screen or head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Still ahead on SA Live, jump into the ring for a fight. Jump out with a six pack. Our Jen Tobias Strusky shows us how a boxing workout can help tighten your tummies. And next, a local school teaming up with a comedian. What's behind this exciting event and how it's helping children and babies learn to listen and talk. It's straight ahead on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, a special community event is coming to Sunshine Cottage School for Deaf Children this October and a night of stand-up comedy with DJ Demers. And here to tell us more about it is Director of Development, Miriam Elizondo. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. All right, before we get to the event, tell us about Sunshine Cottage School for Deaf Children. Absolutely. Sunshine Cottage has been providing services in this community for over 75 years. And really now throughout the state, uh, nationwide and worldwide. Uh, Mrs. Dela White founded the school when she discovered that her daughter had a hearing loss. And so in 1947, we opened the doors for seven students. Um, and now we are working with 600 or more students a year through our Newborn Hearing Evaluation Center, our Parent Infant Program, and our day school that works with preschool all the way up to fourth graders. And so we uh, provide audiological management, speech, counseling, but Sunshine Cottage is considered a option school, which means it's one option that families have uh, when they discover their child has a hearing loss. And that option is a uh, listening and spoken language outcome. So our children uh, learn to listen and speak with the use of modern day technology. So hearing aids, cochlear implants, Bajas. Um, and we also have typical hearing kids in our class because they serve as amazing language models for our children who are learning to listen and speak. And just to reiterate that for folks at home, so that means that every child at the school can speak right Absolutely. with help from technology yes, wow that is amazing so tell us about this comedy show sure we are very excited to be partnering with a very talented comedian by the name of dj demers dj has been on all types of shows like the tonight show with jimmy fallon conan america's got talent and he's currently uh, recording a sitcom and so he will be on our campus october 5th um, it's the first time that he's coming to San Antonio. Uh, it's the first time that we're hosting an event like this, and we're really hoping to bring in the community to learn a little bit more about Sunshine Cottage. And it's a fundraiser for the school. It is yes. a fundraiser, okay. yes ma'am. And I'm looking at this video right now, and there's a reason you booked this comedian, right? DJ was born with a hearing loss, and he wears hearing aids. So he utilizes the stage to give us a unique perspective on his life and his exper experience as a deaf comedian or a person with hearing loss. Wow, and the school is a nonprofit, so can folks donate anytime? Anytime. The school is a nonprofit. We uh, focus on raising funds, so we ensure that we're never on a wait list and that we um, give the children the technology they need to succeed. So we write grants, we seek corporate sponsors, we ask our individual community members to uh, become a part of our Dela's Hero campaign. Just as, as little as $10 a month, you can really provide services and support for our school. And we host special events just like this one with DJ Demers on October 5th. Is there anything else folks need to know about the Sunshine Cottage School for Deaf Children? Uh, we are, again, there for children. We serve 155 at our day school. We do take typical hearing kids, so if you've got one that you want to come and tour, come on by. But come to our website. You'll learn a lot more about our school, about ways to give, and to buy your ticket for DJ Demers on October 5th. All right. Thank you so much, Sunshine Cottage School for Deaf Children. Pre presents the DJ Demers Comedy Show. It's happening October 5th at 6.30 p.m. at 6.03 East Hildebrand Avenue. For ticket information, just scan that QR code that you see there on your screen or visit the website sunshinecottage.org. Miriam, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Still ahead on SA Live, one restaurant saying thank you in a big way this Labor Day. Find out if you're one of the lucky people who can score this big deal on food. 
And next on SA Live, your child can become fluent in multiple languages. No passport required. We're going to show you this one of a kind local school, how it works, and the new way your little ones can give it a try. You won't want to miss this. say hello in another language, but at one local school, they can help make sure your child is completely fluent in another language before they even get to high school. Mary Field, board member with the International School of San Antonio, is here to show us what makes their school different from other language immersion programs. Welcome, welcome. Hello, thank you for having us. So most students will learn another language in high school, but I mean, tell us how this is different. Okay, so I think a lot of people will tell you that when they learn a language in high school, they just don't get very far, right? Because you're only taking Spanish for, at best, 45 minutes a day, four or five days a week for two, hopefully four years. But at our program, children are completely immersed in their second language, so that could be French, Spanish, or Mandarin Chinese, from when they walk in the door till when they say goodbye at the end of the day. And so do kids need to know a little bit of the language or maybe hear it at home to, you know, really make an impact or no? We hear that question a lot and the answer is no. Our kids can start from being zero beginners. What's great about kids is that they don't feel self-conscious the way that adults do, and they don't really realize that it's supposed to be hard. One of the newest programs is at the Duseum, right? A morning program. Tell us a little bit about that. So we're really excited to be able to offer our program at the Duseum. A lot of people know it as the best playground in San Antonio. Uh, so what's really cool is we offer the same language uh, immersion program we do at our full-time program, but the kids can also visit the little town, the outside play spaces, because we have our own classroom, but they can also use other parts of the Duseum. All right, and you brought some students here to kind of show off each language and, you know, show off how young they start, okay? And this is Jasper, who is four years old, and you will be demonstrating French with Miss Mary. Bonjour, monsieur. Bonjour. Quel parfum de glace avez-vous? Fraise. Chocolat. Je voudrais une glace à la fraise, s'il vous plaît. Merci. C'est bon. C'est bon. Oui, c'est bon. bon. <laughs> so, how long does it take to learn a new language? So that's another really good question. I think a lot of people think about it in terms of years, but again, you know, is that five minutes a day, 20 minutes a day, 30 minutes a day? We think about it in terms of hours, two to 3,000 hours to be proficient. Okay, and we have little Evelyn here who is five years old and she will be demonstrating Mandarin Chinese with Miss Mary. Ni hao. Ni hao. Ni hao. Ni jinjian you shen me sui guo mei? Miss Evelyn, thank you. Okay, and so um, it's important to learn at a young age. And of course, let's talk again about that morning program at the Duseum. So yeah, our preschoolers they can take what they're learning about, say, say food, and then they can go shop for the ingredients and and get their queso and their helado and their manzanas from the little town. Okay. At HEB, of course. Of course, of course. All right, so we have Miss Alicia here and little Olivia who is four and you'll be demonstrating Spanish. Buenos dias. Uh, buenos dias. Mm. ¿Cómo estás? Bien. Okay. ¿Me das una pizza? Sí. ¿Qué pizzas tienes? Mm. 
Un bamboloni en un cheese. Queso y pepperoni. Gracias. Ah. De nada. ¿Puede darme uh, una pizza de queso, por favor? Sí. Gracias. De nada. Here you go. Thank you. For more information on the International School of San Antonio, just snap the QR code on your screen or head to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, we are continuing our workout here at Jabs Boxing. Next, we head in the ring to work our core. We'll tell you about a deal and how you can get free classes. All right, my guard's up, I promise. Guard's up. And don't forget to vote on our web poll. What language would you like to learn? Oh, Rachel says French, wee oui, wee. Oui. Kelly says, I would like to learn Portuguese as that is my ancestry background on my dad's side because they are from Portugal. Well, scan that QR code to weigh in and let us know. Keep it here on SA Live. Welcome back. Well, it's time for our deal of the day. This one if, is for the upcoming Labor Day weekend. Kona Grill would like to say thank you to all first responders and teachers for all they do. From Friday, September 1st through Monday, September 4th, all medical, police, fire department, hospital workers, and teachers will receive 50% off food all weekend long. For more information, just snap that QR code on your screen or just go to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Okay, well, one way to let out your stress is, of course, you know, whether you're a teacher or a responder, is maybe a boxing workout. And that's where our Jen Tobias Trusty is at Jabs Boxing, ready to show us a few more exercises. Jen, have you caught your breath? Yes, yes I have Fiona and it is such a stress reliever. I already feel better now and I'm not even really running right through the whole class, but you're right about that. Now I'm here with Stacy Reynoso, one of the other coaches here and we're all about core now, right Stacy? We're going to do a few core exercises. Are you ready Jen? I think so. You ready it. Casey? Do okay, it. yes. I'm going to have Casey demo the first yes. workout. It's going to be a stability ball pass. Casey's going to pass it from his legs to his hands and back and forth. Okay. Go ahead and give it a try, Jen. I'll give it a try here. Yes. So we start with the ball here. Correct. Okay. Pass it to your hands. <laughs> there you go. Nice. This is going to focus on all of our abs from top to bottom, completely ab work. Whew. Good. Bring it down okay. nice Wait, and slowly. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Now bring it back up. <laughs> nice. Let's get to the okay. other workout. Casey, great job. Yes. Good. Great job. <laughs> okay. For this next one, Casey's going to demo it also. It's going to be a forearm plank with a um, body saw. All you're gonna do is move your toes back and forth, rocking your body. Okay, tell me what this is working. I mean, obviously so we our are core. still working our core. You'll get a little bit of a shoulder and arm in, a little bit of a quad and hamstring. Good, you're doing <sighs> awesome. High five. Okay. Got it. You see how yes. he, he pushes me. I love it, Casey, thank you. <laughs> awesome, okay. now let's go to our next workout. Whew. If you wanna place your feet under the handlebars. Yes. Okay. Good. Casey's going to go ahead and show you this. And we're going to come up with a twist with a punch, jab, cross. Okay. okay. We're still working the core, making sure you get that good twist so we can continue to work even more on that core. Awesome. And there's a reason we leave the gloves on, right? Yes. So the reason why we leave the, glo the gloves on is so we can still track those punches that we are getting in. And we'll they're very beneficial to use with the workouts as well. We'll and have our hands free. I love that they, you guys email the results too, right? Yes, so after your correct. workout. Woo, you can awesome. do this at home even, right? You can do this at home. <sighs> and I want to remind you, Jen, that all these workouts are for everyone. Anyone is welcome to come and join and work out with us. Oh, we're not stopping, are we? Where's the bell? Where's the bell, Casey? <laughs> the bell. <laughs> okay, awesome. And you have a deal. I love what you said. It doesn't matter what your fitness level is. Correct. Come yes. try. Do not be intimidated. You guys are awesome, by the way. Awesome team here. Um, how can they get some free classes? So if you can go online, you can book three free classes with us. You have seven days from when you book it to take advantage of those three free classes.
All right, and then obviously all the information is on your website. Correct, yes. And you guys, again, they switch it up. So every workout is different, right? Yes, correct. Yeah. We'll switch it. We'll have power days, we'll have core days, we'll have KO days. All right, yes. what's your favorite part, guys? Both of you. Mine's going to be a core day. Uh -huh. Just finisher. The finisher. Oh, the finisher. <laughs> Listen, this is a four minute finisher. I'm used to like a 30 second yeah. finisher. Give me one example of what a finisher is. So a finisher I like to do box jumps. Just keep jumping oh, no. up and down okay. on the box. Okay. Yes. We're not going to do that yet. Okay. <laughs> All right. We'll still work on that, Fiona. Yes. I'm going to go ahead and send it back to you. Again, you can get three free classes. We have their information on our website. I'll send it back to you, Fiona. <laughs> Thank you so oh, much, Jen. Yes. Catch your breath. All right, next on SA Live, fire throwers, magicians, acrobats, it's not what you typically find at a water park. What's behind this wild event and how long you have to enjoy it? Don't go anywhere. and not just wine event coming to Round Rock next month. And here with all the tasty details is Brandon Wise, Assistant General Manager with Kalahari Resorts and Convention. Hey there. How you doing Fiona? Thanks for having me. Of course, tell us all about this festival. So it's the food and not just wine festival. We heard from our attendees last year, this is our second one, that we needed to do so much more. So we heard that we've made it bigger. Last year we had 57 local and national vendors partnered with our team here. This year we're going to be north of 100 vendors. We've got live entertainment in every corner of the, uh, of the building from jugglers to musicians to motorcycle cages, you name it, there's something happening everywhere. And so let's talk a little bit about the food. What kind of food will you have there? Sure. Well, Kalahari covers the globe in available offerings. So we're going to have more than two dozen offerings out there with Tex-Mex from Cinco Nino's, our Tex-Mex restaurant, to samplings from Double Cut, our Steakhouse, Ortino's Italian Kitchen. Everything's going to be trying something new. All right. You mentioned some of the entertainment, motorcycle cages. What else? I'm going to guess here, but I think we've got about 30 different live entertainment going on from the motorcycle cages to live musicians everywhere, jugglers, stilt walkers, uh, mud Magicians, all sorts of stuff happening in every corner of the resort. Okay, and there's a meet the chef brunch? There is. There's a couple ways to engage in this event, and there's general admission, which is going to be from 12 to 4, but then the VIP admission includes two hours early access. The first hour is a VIP meet the chef brunch reception, and then the next hour after that, they get one hour access to the event with only those VIPs there. And there are different ticket levels. Break that down for me. There are, we just talked about it a little bit, but the VIPs, you're getting that brunch reception with meet and greet with the chef. You're getting an hour early access to the event. So much shorter lines, much more intimate experience. And for those that are good with the general admission, there's four hours of event, a little bit of an informal after party going on and more than a hundred vendors to sample from. And when is all this happening? This is Sunday, September 24th. All right, and can folks buy tickets uh, online, find out more? Yeah, there's two ways. Well, the easiest way is going to be kalahariresorts.com forward slash Texas, and you can buy your passes just for the day or as part of an overnight room package. All right, Brandon Wise, thank you so much. Get your tickets now for Kalahari Resorts Food and Not Just Wine Festival. Just go to their website, kalahariresorts.com slash Texas, and navigate to the Food and Not Just Wine event page. you what language would you like to learn? Jane says the language I would like to learn is Spanish. I think that's the popular ones, one of the most widely spoken languages in the world. From Robert, Italian. Yes, one of the romance languages. All right, and of course we had a baby Coda Monday here from Happy Tales Entertainment. Remember, this mobile zoo can come to you with all the fun critters they have.